Hello and welcome once again to another episode of From the Heart. This show, as always, is brought to you by your West Virginia Library Television Network and by the American Heart Association. I'm your host, Kevin Pauley, Communications Director for the American Heart Association. Well, spring is officially here, and with that comes a very fun event that gets everybody up and moving once again, and that is, of course, our Spring Heart Walks. And in this region, we are very thrilled to see the return of the Huntington Heart Walk in Ritter Park, which is one of the most beautiful places to have a heart walk and an event that is always a fun way to get people celebrating spring, to get people up and moving, and to get people outside and enjoying a beautiful time, all for a great cause. Now, today we're going to talk about the Huntington Heart Walk with my guest, Amanda Sosby, Development Director for the American Heart Association and no stranger to the show. Amanda, thanks for joining us today. Thanks for having me. Well, of course, you know, spring is here. Everybody's excited to get outside. And with that comes the Huntington Heart Walk. What a great way to, to get that going. Um, tell us a little bit about this event. Why, why is it so important and, and what can people expect at the event? Um, it's so important because it's, it is raising awareness for the core of everything that we do, you know, getting people more active and living a healthy lifestyle. And this is one of the only events, I think, maybe the only event in our area that focuses on actually getting up and getting moving and you know, promoting a healthy lifestyle. Well, absolutely. It's definitely one of those things where, you know, we talk about, you know, the importance of walking and here's an event where you get to do just that. Um, but of course, it's also not just about walking, which is, of course is a great thing, but the event itself, of course, is a great fundraiser. Uh, and of course, the event itself has more to offer than just walking. So talk a little bit about, you know, the, the, the funds at an event like this. What does it take to raise them? What, what, what do they go towards? So, you know, obviously fundraising is a huge part of everything that we're doing, um, trying to raise money for research and a lot of different things that we have going on in the community. Sure. Um, we use those funds for that as well. And, you know, we've got a lot of really good sponsors that are coming on board to help with this. So that's putting some money into it. And then, of course, our community teams and our just individual walkers, all of those folks raising money for, for the calls. Yeah, you know, those community teams really are such an important part of it. They, they to me, I mean, no pun intended, they really are the heart of the event. They're, they're usually there because of someone who they, they have in their family who is a survivor mm -hmm. or walking in memory of someone who they lost to either heart disease or stroke. So for them, it is a very personal thing and they definitely get really, you know, excited about being there. We've got teams making their own t-shirts and they'll have banners and all kinds of cool stuff. It's really exciting to see that. Um, you know, when you look at, the, again, the importance of our, our local sponsors, you know, who are some of the sponsors that are, that are helping to make this event happen? I know there are some pretty large ones in the community that, that come out to help. Yeah, we've got um, Dutch Miller. We've got St. Mary's Hospital, um, Marshall Cardiology. All of those staples Ankova. in the community, yeah. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I'd have to go back and look at my yeah, list. Yeah, it's, it's a lot, a lot but of, it is. It's a, it's a great bunch. And you have uh, uh, some some great chairs this year, some new chairs uh, stepping up for the event this year, correct? Yeah, we have Jason Shepard and Sandy Lester, and they are both with People's Bank. So we're excited to have them on board. Um, and they're doing a really great job so far. Again, it's that community buy-in that really does make an event like this so special. Um, you know, it, it does take a village. And, and luckily, through events like this, it, that's really what you kind of get the day of, is a, mm -hmm. a beautiful mixture of people from all backgrounds, different reasons for being there, but all there for a very good reason. Now, obviously, 2024, very big year for the American Heart Association, as it is our centennial year. Um, what is it for you, like being in, in your position, and you've been here now for a couple of years, you, 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 you've been, you know, involved in the Charleston and Huntington Territory very, very strongly. What's it like for you to be a part of this mission celebrating such a big year? It's really amazing to think, you know, to be part of an organization that has been around 100 years. There's not a lot of organizations. No, no. That have been, so it's really, um, you know, neat to be a part of. And for me, it's really just getting to see the impact that it has and knowing that the work that we're doing has meaning behind it. And it's, it's you know, just an all-around good feeling. It really is. I tell people all the time, if you come out to the Heart Walk, I guarantee when you leave, you're going to be in a better mood than when you got there. Fill it, your cup. Yes, it really does. That's a great way <laughs> to think about it. It really does fill your cup. Uh, and it's one of those things where the event is such a, a positive 
event. You know, there, there's just so much positivity, whether it's, you know, we recognize survivors and usually we, we have a great survivor story. We hear, you know, from the people in the community, like people who are really living there, you know, not just like someone on a TV commercial that you see nationally. This is someone a living, breathing reminder right in your community of, of the work that we're doing and the impact that it has. Yep. Um, you know, you've, you've been with the organization now for a couple of years. What is it like for you when you get to the Heart Walk? I mean, there's a lot of planning that goes into the event itself, but the day of, what does it mean for you to see these events come to life? And one big thing that I always look forward to is seeing, so we have the red hats and the white hats yes, for stroke yes. and um, heart survivors so it's really neat to be out there at the events and you know the walk starts and you're seeing all of these people with their white hats and with their red hats walking around and so you know you know what they're there for and it's just really impactful to get to see that and um well, I think for me, it, what's really interesting, and again, you know, I'll, I'll date myself. I'm, I've been here for almost 19 years, and I always joke I had hair when I started. I really did. Uh, and it's, it's amazing to me the number of hats that we see grow. And what that means is more and more people are surviving these things. They are mm -hmm. beating these things. And that is one of those things that really stands out to me, especially, especially when you see the number of children who are there wearing their red, you know, their heart hero capes and their and their ball caps? When you see more and more kids, you know, beating the odds and surviving these things, that is something that really I think, from just a visual standpoint, there's so much storytelling just looking at that. Right. Just all the people that you see there and all of the impact that it's making. Um, you know, when you are obviously planning an event like this, there's a lot of things that go into it. But what can people expect the day of? Obviously, beautiful walk around the park. We know that. Meet right there at the fountain. That's where everything's at. But what are some of the things that people can expect to see and, and do uh, when they come out to the Heart Walk? So our registration will start around 930. So you come Not up. too early, which no, is good. Not, not too, too early. early. <laughs> um, and then, you know, we'll start our programming and everything. But um, outside of the things, it's the typical Heart Walk. You know, we will have a kid zone area for the kids that are there. Um, we will have someone doing screenings, blood pressure screenings nice. there. Nice. Yeah. Um, possibly CPR too. So we'll see um, if our one and only Cindy Keeley is. If available. Cindy can be there, you got it going on. So That's right. we'll check with that. But yeah, just coming in, um, you know, taking advantage of all of the different sponsors and seeing what they have to offer, and then obviously our programming. We'll we'll, we'll talk to a survivor. We'll have someone speak. Um, we're going to have a pup parade again this year. I was going to so. ask, are the, are the, are the pupper dogs going to be there? Because that's, that's so important. That man. makes that makes the whole thing. <laughs> um, so we'll have our pup parade. And, and that's where yeah. like people are encouraged. We remind people, you're encouraged to bring your four-legged yes. friends with you. We love, we love the puppies, so bring all the dogs. And we have like like neckerchiefs for them and stuff. Yes, like there's have, all kinds um, of stuff. Yeah, little bandanas that they can wear. And there are prizes, if I remember correctly, at, at the, the pup parade. We there's... are going to have prizes. Yeah. yeah, we'll have for uh, best in show, best personality, best behaved. So. Hey, best behaved is a big one. That, yep. That's, you know, I, that, and there's no guarantee that that means best in show. I'm just saying that. We, we've had some upsets. People were people were shocked at how it went down. <laughs> uh, but no, it is such a great thing because, you know, we think about pets and we know that through the research, we know that, that people who do have pets tend to live longer because they help de-stress us. They mm -hmm. encourage us to get outside. And one thing I've learned at the many heart walks I've been to is nobody loves a heart walk more than your dog. Mm -hmm. <laughs> they are so stoked to be at the heart walk. Yep. Not just seeing the other dogs, but just getting to take that walk. And it is a great reminder that taking your pet for a walk, it, it puts years back on you, man. It really does. Uh, as a, as a, a dog owner, you know very well how that works. Uh, when, when looking at an event like this, um, obviously we've got a lot of things going on the day of the walk itself. You know, we're, we're raising funds, we're doing all this. But what do you think is, is a if someone's sitting at home trying to figure out, like, you know, should I get involved this year? Why should someone sign up and, and be a part of the Heart Walk? Just, I mean, everyone either themselves has been affected by heart disease or stroke or they know someone that's been affected. So there's really, you know, a purpose out there to either walk for yourself or walk for a friend or family member. And just to raise awareness, as we know, you know, especially for women, one in three women are affected by heart disease yes, and stroke. So yes. there's just so many good reasons to be involved and to help raise awareness and help raise funds to, for the research. Because like you mentioned before, more people are surviving. Yes. And I think that's a testament to, to seeing what our dollars are really going 
towards and how that's affecting the Absolutely. longevity of people's lives and these people who have been affected. Now, if someone does want to put together a team, what do they need to do? Um, you know, a lot of times people ask, like, do I have to be with a business? Like, what do you need to create a team and how do you go about doing it? They just need to go to the um, HeartWalk website. It's heart.org backslash um, heart. Huntington Heart Walk. Is that right? Huntington, I think it's Huntington, Huntington Walk. Huntington I Walk. Yeah. Yeah. All the things. Heart.org slash Huntington Walk. I think There's so it many. Is. Yeah, there it is I up on the screen right now. There you there see. we go. That's perfect. So just go there and then, um, you know, you can click to join a team or create a team. Um, you know, a lot of companies are already involved, so their company may be, may be already involved. Yeah. Um, so they can just click join there click the company and get registered that way. So and is there easy. any kind of cost or anything to do this? Absolutely free. Okay, even better. Free is the, 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 mm -hmm. the word of the day. We love to hear that. And as you can see there on the site, folks, there are just, it's, it's really, really easy to get signed up. Just click some buttons and put in some info and you'll be surprised how quickly you can get that going. And people who sign up online, like you can also like raise funds through that too, correct? Yes, so if you download the HeartWalk app especially, everything will go towards the Huntington HeartWalk campaign. And it makes the HeartWalk app actually makes it super simple. With yes, one it does. click of a button, you can share to Facebook, you can share to, you know, other social medias and start to raise funds that way. And uh, you'd be surprised how much funds are raised just you through are, a Facebook fundraiser. Yeah, you are exactly right. Facebook fundraisers alone, you will be shocked how many people, because the great thing about that is you don't have to live in Huntington to support the Huntington Heart Walk. Mm -hmm. you, can, you can get friends and family anywhere in the world to donate that way, and they can all help out with this event, which is fantastic. We do remind you, if you don't have the Heart Walk app, you can go into the uh, iStore or you can go into the uh, Google store and you can find those apps for free to download. Just look up HeartWalk. You'll see the AHA icon and it's very easy to download and get going. It is a really simple app to use. It's very intuitive and it will help you not only become a part of the event, it'll help you with your fundraising. And if you are the team's coach, it'll help you even get out to let your people know how to get involved and support the event. Um, Amanda, this is obviously a very big event, very big year. Uh, any final thoughts you know, about the Huntington Heart Walk itself? Like just your, your thoughts on the event and what it means to the community? I mean, one thing I will add while we're just talking about the HeartWalk app, too, is we have our Move More Challenge. Oh, yes, so, that's right. Please talk about that. So, yeah, from the app, you can go on, and uh, it really registers your minutes that you're active. So you can go on and, you know, log those in, and then we do a Move More Award as well. Oh, that's right. At the yes. HeartWalk. Yes. So we'll have that for whomever, you know, the top walker is or the, you know, the top person who I think they changed it. So it's, you know, activity overall. Right. Um, but you do have to, uh, to go through the app go to through be the app there, correct? To, yeah, okay. to log in to do that's, that. That's important, but it's, it is easy to do. And again, the app is free and registering for this event is free as well. Um, you know, obviously the Huntington Heart Walk, uh, give us the, the, the date time, like the, the basics info so everybody knows what's going on. It is April 20th at Ritter Park. Uh, registration again starts at 930 and the walk will begin at 10. And I believe that's Earth Day. So a great, great day to be at the park in the trees and everything and doing something that will make a difference in the lives of people in your community. Well, Amanda, we're going to take, take a few minutes. We're uh, going to come back and take a look at another big event we just had, the Charleston Heart Ball. Um, for those who don't know, Amanda does cover the Huntington and Charleston region, so a lot of big events under her watch, uh, and she does a super job every time. So, uh, again, before we leave, we remind you that you can register your team online at heart.org slash Huntington Walk, and you can also go through the Heart Walk app Again, you can find it on, whether you're an Apple user or an Android user, you can find the app. It is a free download and you can absolutely get started today. And we invite you to be a part of this exciting event. Uh, one thing about it, the Ritter, Ritter Park is a fantastic area for a heart walk. And at that time of the year, everything's green and beautiful. You can't ask for a better place to do it. It's an easy walk. It's just walking around the park. We'll meet you at the fountain. We're going to take a break. And when we come back, we'll talk about another great success this year, the 2024 Charleston Heart Ball. Stay with us. We'll be right back. I guess sometimes things just happen. Devastating things. Your whole world changes in an instant. That's what happened to me the day my mother had a stroke. I'm Paul George, and I want you to spot a stroke fast. F, face drooping. A, arm weakness. S, speech difficulty. T, time to call 911. Protect the ones you love. Spot a stroke fast.
Welcome back to From the Heart. Now, my guest today is Amanda Sosby, our development director. And not only do we, does she cover the event we just talked about, the, the Huntington Heart Walk, but a very fantastic event that we have every year, the fabulous Charleston Heart Ball, which just happened uh, right at the first weekend of March uh, and was a wonderful, wonderful success for the region. Amanda, you know, the heart ball, obviously, very different animal from the heart walk. It's I mean, completely different apples and oranges, not even the same ballpark. Um, what is it like to put together an event like that? Because, you know, a heart walk, we're outside, we're wearing sneakers, it's all pretty casual. A heart ball is a very different affair. It's a much more formal affair, very different vibe. What is it like to put together something like that? Because it, it is such a uh, I mean, it is such a, a well-designed evening. I mean, it, it, every there's an itinerary. It's very mm -hmm. tight. What does it take to put something like that together? So you're right. It is a very different animal. Um, <laughs> so it, it takes the month of, like, we had it in, you know, this year in March, the very beginning very of March. Very beginning of March, so March 2nd, yeah. whole month of February really is, like, down to the wire. It takes a lot of planning, way more planning than I think what everyone thinks. Um so a lot of little details and a lot goes into the planning for the yeah, hardball. Obviously, this this is an event that um, you know it, it is a very much a, a beautiful, beautiful event, uh, and there's so much that goes on at that event. Um, you know, talk a little bit about we we had two wonderful awards given this year. Um, talk a bit about the importance of, of seeing that that recognition for like our local physicians and what that means. You know, here in the community. I think it, it makes, you know, obviously these doctors are folks that, that are in our community, like you said, and for um, people that are here, like normally it's it's their doctor. If yes, someone that's has true. had, you know, um, a heart attack or any sort of heart issues, you know, it's one of those physicians that's being recognized. So, um, you know, I know you shared on social media and I can't even tell you how many people are commenting like, that's my doctor. You yes. know, he saved my life. You yeah, know, Dr. So. Stanton really, uh, he, he, uh, was like a rock star. I mean, it was amazing how many people were coming out mm -hmm. like he saved my life or he saved my, my mom's life. You know, he, he's, you know, been a, a, a fantastic physician all these years. Like it was really, really heartwarming, no pun intended. It was very heartwarming to see how many people responded to that, you know, mm -hmm. And it, it really goes to show, you know, these doctors, they, they really are bringing that mission to life. You know, the, 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 the research that we do, they're the ones on the front line bringing that research to life. And yeah. it's them who are helping us literally save lives. It's, it's what they do. Uh, Dr. Wissam Garib, you know, the same thing. He just, you know, and his whole family is so connected, you know, uh, in, the, in, in the cardiovascular realm. I mean, his brother Ely received this award mm -hmm. just a few years back. Uh, so obviously the, these, these people are really and genuinely and truly, they're bringing it to life. They really are. Um, obviously these, these awards, they really do mean something, I think. You know, the, the people in the room really responded to it, don't you think? Absolutely, yeah. Now this event, uh, there was also a wonderful um, a survivor story that we had with mm -hmm. Elizabeth Farrell. Um, what does it mean to you to be able to, to bring those kinds of stories to life? Because I mean, we were able to show her story through a video, then she was actually able to be there. Um, you know, what does it mean to you to, to have that kind of a moment, you know? You know, it's one thing, you know, we do the shooting of the video, we meet with the survivor, we hear their story, and it's obviously heartwarming and touching, and it's just, all of these survivors have amazing stories, but when you're there the night of in the room and it's playing on the big screen and you look around and you can see not very many dry eyes in the crowd, you know, it really brings it to light of how impactful having, you know, a survivor there. And, and we, and she got up and spoke and it was really, it was great to just bring it full circle and have her talk to everybody. It was a really beautiful moment because, you know, Elizabeth, for those of you who don't know her, she's like the sweetest, nicest person on the planet. Uh, that's her with her family there. As a matter of fact, that woman took mm -hmm. more selfies than any teenager <laughs> I've ever met. And she earned every one of them because again, you know, it's hard to believe it was just a little over a year ago yes. that she had her stroke. Absolutely crazy. And I think people were shocked to see her get up and walk up to the podium because you watch the video and you see the footage of her not being able to walk and having to go through the therapy. Mm -hmm. And then you see her just walk up there and just takes those stairs and comes right up to the podium. I mean, I, I could hear people like, like they were shocked. Like it was really an amazing moment. Mm -hmm. um, you know, obviously you want to have those kinds of moments when you put together an event like this. So I figure that that had a genuine sense of, of, of like a real, like, man, this, this paid off. The, yeah, everything and she's so out. positive. She like is. Goodness gracious. Yeah. Is unmatched. She's, 
It really is. It really is. Now, obviously, this is a very fun event. There's auctions and great food, and everybody's all dressed up to the nines and mm -hmm. stuff. You know, obviously, they're, 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 again, this is not a simple put together event. There's a lot that goes into it. But what is it for you when you see an event like this come together? Like, I mean, I know it, it, there's probably a sense of relief when you finally get to the night of, but is there, you know, the, the excitement of, of, of putting together such a fancy event? Does, is, is that still, is that still a thing for you? Is it still fun? Yeah. I mean, it definitely is. It's stressful at times, but it's, uh, <laughs> <laughs> you know, cause you get down to the wire. There's, there's so much that goes into it. Our auction is a big part of oh, it. Sure. And, we had so many amazing auction donors, both silent and live. Well, I was going to say, let's keep in mind, you have two different ones. You've got the yes. silent auction doing one thing, and then you've got, you know, Jimmy Strawn up there for the live mm -hmm. auction. And, man, people were really into it this year. You had some yeah. really great items up for grabs. Yeah, I think we had over $25,000 worth of auction that's items. That's crazy. Yeah, so. that's 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 yeah. really, really great. You also, there's a picture of our chair. You had a great chair this year with Jessie Mills. You know, what was it like getting to work with her? Jessie's awesome. She's, you know, her and her husband, Dave, have been involved for a couple years. Right, they're no strangers to it, right? Yeah, so she stepped up to be the chair this year, and she did a really great job. She got she a lot of you know, people there and involved and uh, other sponsors involved. So she was a great asset to the Hartball. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, it, it, a, a good chair really does help bring it together. And you see also, you'll see some pictures here. There's our, our doctors who won their awards. Dr. Grieve got the uh, the Heart of Gold Award. Uh, and again, Wissam Grieve, a tremendous physician. And, and so many people were so excited to see him in the room. Like, it, it's really kind of neat. Those guys are kind of mm -hmm. like rock stars for the night. They really are. Yeah. Uh, but they were so excited to see him. And then, of course, excuse me, Dr. Stanton, uh, again, what an absolute rock star he was. I mean, he, he's been in the game for quite some time. And, uh, and it was so cool to see them get recognized. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, this was just a, a really great event. And, and in the end, how much did we end up raising? Because, I mean, this was a, this was a big night. We raised over $90,000 total. Wow, so. that's insane. I mean, that is a great, great turnout. Uh, and a beautiful venue. I mean, the Coliseum, what a great-looking way to, to bring this event to life. Because you've got the river there, you've got the sunset, because, you know, right there at the mm -hmm. 6 o'clock time frame. It was absolutely stunning, I thought. Just a beautiful, beautiful place yeah, to be. It was. It was really pretty. And I will say, again, everything top to bottom, you put together a great event. The, the food was fantastic. The Again, the silent and live auction, a lot of great items up for, for grabs and people genuinely excited about it you know mm -hmm. that was a great thing to see but ultimately what it comes down to that's over ninety thousand dollars that goes into the mission and that is really such a positive thing to be able to, to to see and to be able to to make that happen um you know now that you've had some time to kind of think about it and to kind of breathe uh you know what stands out for you is like some of the the the, the, the highlights for you for this year's hardball um highlights obviously was the two doctors and their awards you know that was a big thing Elizabeth, obviously, she is a story. walking highlight, that, isn't that she? Like a, that was a major, <laughs> you know, part of the event. Um, and then again, I was excited to see how well the auctions did this year and the excitement that people had in the room. I think that's something that maybe lacked in the years before that we definitely made up for this year. So well, yeah, I mean, definitely people were talking about it. They were excited, and that was something that was really nice to to be in a room with that kind of energy and, and people were. You know, they were really just happy to be there. I think mm -hmm. a lot of it, you know, you get into the winter months, you're looking for something to do. This was a great thing to be able to get out and do. Mm -hmm. and, and we had a fun DJ. Yeah, had a great night. DJ. God, you had a dancing. great DJ. Yeah. Seriously, yeah, a great DJ. You had a 360 photo booth. Like, yeah. all kinds of fun stuff going on. One thing about it, I mean, if you were at this event, if you left and you were... If you were hungry, that's on you because it was a delicious <laughs> meal. If you were bored, again, that's on you because there was a lot of cool stuff going on. Uh, if you went home empty-handed, then, hey, you just have to try harder at the auctions. <laughs> that's all I can say because there's a lot of great stuff up for bids, that's for sure. Uh, you know, with this kind of an event, obviously, again, very different animal from a heart walk. But what does it mean for you to be able, again, with this being our centennial year, you know, bringing an event like this to life, what does it mean for you to be able to do that in your hometown, in, in, in your, your, your territory? You know, like, how, what does it mean for you? I think it was, you know, especially being the 100 years, there was a lot of rallying behind that. Yes. And a lot of momentum going into it for not just myself, but for our ELT that, you know, was putting that together. They were, you know, wanting to do it bigger than they ever had for the 100th year. <laughs> for so, that reason, sure. Yeah. So, I mean, it's just a, a great thing to be a part of. And especially here where I'm from, you know, so to have that and have the attendance that we did. Oh, I think goodness, we yes. had. 250 people, maybe closer to 300. Yeah, the room was packed. So, yeah, it was great. You know, when you uh, when you look at the Heart Ball, it, it is uh, every year it's 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 uh, 
it's a different theme. It's a different, you know, different vibe, you know, every year. Uh, and of course, this year is the only 100th year we'll get to do, you know. Uh, but when you look at the top to bottom of the event, um, is, would, I mean, I, really, I mean, can you call it anything but a success when you look at the overall event and the way the night played out? Yeah. How, how do you, I guess, again, having the time to kind of breathe and, and, and look at it, uh, how do you feel the event went? Do you, are you excited for what we got for next year? Absolutely. I mean, the heart balls are, you know, a lot of work, but I think that they make a big splash in the community. It's they do. something different, you know, than the heart walks. And so it's always fun to do. But um, yeah, looking forward to it. We don't have a theme nailed down just yet, but we do have some ideas. And, you know, so we'll be getting those out as soon as, as soon as we have them. Well, I know when you've got ideas, you've got some really fun stuff, you know, in mind. And that's what it's all about, of course, making the event. Uh, of course, we know people are going to come and have a good time. They're going to help with a great cause, but we do want to make it fun, and mm-hmm. those themes definitely do help. Uh, this year, being able to incorporate the Be the Beat theme, um, which is really strong with our CPR, being able to incorporate that with the 100th year anniversary, I thought was a really nice tie-in. Uh, everything in the room looked great. So again, kudos to you on a fantastic event. Um, you know, as we wrap things up, you know, I do want to remind people again: the 2024 Huntington Heart Walk is coming up on Saturday. April 20th, uh, you can, uh, again, we can register online mm-hmm. right now for yeah. free, no problem, at uh, www.heart.org slash Huntington Walk. There is the site on screen. And as we're wrapping up, uh, just final uh, details or anything about the Huntington Heart Walk you want to get out for the, for the viewers at home? Just be there. <laughs> <laughs> well, we remind people, too, your team can be, of course, people you, who you work with, uh, it can be your family and friends. It can be a church group, a civic group, a sorority, uh, you know, a Boy Scout, Girl Scout troop. Anybody that wants to make a team can make a team, correct? There is, you don't have to be a company. You can be anybody. Absolutely. Anybody and everybody. And if you can't make the walk that day, you can still walk where you are. You know, right. we've kind of kept that theme since... Um, COVID and, you know, that was kind of what we had to do, but, yes, yes, it was. but now we are focusing on, you know, if you can't be there, you can still be part of the team, still create a team, yes. still have people involved, still fundraise and just walk wherever you are that day. And really what it comes down to is walking is good for you, no matter what you're doing, whatever the cause. But if you can be a part of this event and you can help raise that life saving, the fundraising for us, that is going to be a major thing for everybody in the community. As I tell people all the time, When you raise money for this organization, you may not meet the person whose life you've impacted, but I promise you there is a life that you will have impacted. So again, we remind you, Saturday, April 20th at Ritter Park. Again, you can register online at heart.org slash Huntington Walk, or again, find the Heart Walk app, whether you're an Android user or an iPhone user, find it for free, get your team registered today, start making your moves, and see if you can walk away with this year's Move More Award. Helping keep you informed on the Library Television Network, I'm Kevin Polly. Here's wishing you good health, for a happy heart, lace up your sneakers, Huntington. We'll see you in April.